Hi everyone, I'm Kira Dhaliwal. You're watching Punjab Star TV and welcome to the Weekly Six. Large explosion ripped through Beirut. Two large explosions reportedly caused by explosive material ripped through Lebanon's capital Beirut on Tuesday, killing at least 135 people and injuring thousands of others, including the Prime Minister's wife and daughter. An investigation is under the way to find the exact trigger for the explosion. Lebanon's Supreme Defense Council said those responsible would face the maximum punishment. Remains a newborn baby found in Pickering. German Regional Police are investigating after a newborn's infant remains were found by Lake Ontario in Pickering Thursday afternoon. No further information has been provided, but the police say a postmodern examination will take place in the coming days. A portion of the waterfront trail on the shoreline has been closed off while police investigate the incident. Anyone with any information is being asked to contact the police or to reach out to Crime Stoppers anonymously. Canada has a new deal for COVID-19 vaccines. Canada now has deals in place with the pharmaceutical giant Pfizer and U.S.-based biotech firm Moderna to secure millions of doses for the experimental COVID-19 vaccines in the case either of the candidates approved for the wide-scale use. After the company pronounces the vaccine a safe and effective, Health Canada must approve it to use it before it can be used. The delivery of the approved vaccines may be set somewhere in 2021. Saudi Crown Prince accuses sending hit squad to Canada. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia sent a hit squad to Toronto, Canada in an effort to hunt down and kill a former top intelligence official who knows too much. A civil suit filed Thursday in the Court of the United States accuses Mohammed bin Salman of attempting to silence Saad Ali Jabri, a permanent resident of Canada. Canada Border Service Agency also allegedly denied entry at a Canadian airport to the group who would be assassins in October 2018. Each member of the group approached separate kiosks as they attempted to clear the customs and claimed to not know each other. Trump issues executive orders to ban several Chinese apps. President Donald Trump on Thursday issued executive orders that would ban the social media app TikTok and WeChat from operating in the U.S. in 45 days if they're not sold by their Chinese-owned parent companies. This is due to major escalations of tensions with Beijing. Devotees celebrate the construction of the new Hindu temple in India. The donations for the construction of Ram Temple in Ayodhya have started pouring in from all across the world. According to a report in Times of India, 41 crore rupees have been received in donations ahead of the Bhumi Pujan ceremony that took place on the 5th of August. India also dismissed Pakistan's criticism on the beginning of the construction work towards the new Hindu temple at the site of a historic Muslim mosque that was demolished by a Hindu mob 30 years ago. That was today's update on the Weekly Six. Don't forget to follow Punjab Star TV on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and I will see you next time on Weekly Six. Mm -hmm.